I'd like to go over a few other things that are important to know about the normal distribution and the types of questions they can ask you, which kind of have to do with appro either approximating the normal distribution or knowing key features of a normal distribution and, and making a claim as to whether a graph that you've been given will fit that um, criteria for the normal distribution. So one of the first things that they can ask us to do is to analyze a graph and justify whether it can be represented as a normal distribution. So situations that can be modeled by the normal distribution should meet these following conditions. So your graph basically has to meet all of these conditions. It needs to be symmetrical about the mean and remember, remembering that the mean is the middle. And this is basically the same thing as saying bell-shaped. And we'd expect a nice pretty graph that's mostly symmetrical about the mean, which again on a normal graph is in the middle. The mean should be in the center of the distribution, so it should line up with the peak, kind of in the middle of the whole thing. Equal amounts to the left and the right. There should be only one mode, and this means only one peak. And the extreme tails of the graph, you know, those bits at the end, out at the edges, should approach zero. So it should go down towards zero at the edges of the graph. Most of the data will also be within two standard deviations of the mean, and that's what gives us that nice clear peak in the middle and tails on the edges, that within two standard deviations, most of your data is going to be there with your mean in the middle. And basically that says not a whole lot at the tails, so the tails are very small. So thinking about those criteria, let's take a look at these graphs and just decide whether or not they would meet the normal distribution. Um, and I want you to keep in the back of your head, I'm not going to do these right now, but when you're answering exam questions, I want you to remember to be very specific about the context, so if it's size of kiwi fruit, lengths of waiting times, things like that, make sure that you're being specific about the context, what the problem is actually about, and use your statistical terms. And that's basically all of this stuff in here, everything that we just talked about. So being specific about mean and symmetrical and modes, things like that. So if we take a look at this first graph, I would say no. This does not match a normal distribution. Um, for me, it's not symmetrical. And the, um, the mode, so I won't say the mode, the mean, is not centered. So you can see here it doesn't fit a normal distribution, it's not symmetrical. There's more points on this side than there are on that side when you split it down the middle, and um, it's not very pretty for that. This one is also not a normal distribution. My big reason for this one would be that there is more than one peak. And if you remember back from stats earlier in the year, this is what we call bimodal, because there's two modes, two peaks here. So more than one peak, peak being the same thing as kind of a mode here, a common outcome. And in this case, it's a bimodal, there's two of them, so it doesn't fit a normal distribution either. This one over here, if you take a look at it, it's pretty close. And one thing to keep in mind is that these criteria that they're looking for, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it's got to be pretty good for all of them. And if I think about this one, it is relatively symmetrical about the middle, about the mean. Um, most of the values are within the first two standard deviations. If you kind of just ap approximate that, you know, most of those data points are really close to the middle, that's one way to just think about it. It tails off towards zeros on the edges and there's just the one peak. So I'd say yes. It is symmetrical. Mean is centered. One mode and um, extreme values Uh, are near zero. The tails are dying off there. 
And again, if you kind of try to visualize here on the graph, you know, except for that bit up there, not the prettiest, or that bit there, except for this bit here, it's slightly off-center on symmetry, but it's pretty dang close to a normal distribution, so I would say yes on that one. Um, the next one here, if I look at this, first thing I might look for is that symmetry. It's not symmetrical, and it's not, um, not so much that it's, sorry, it, it's not symmetrical enough in this case that you couldn't even assume that it's bimodal. I'm sorry, normal. So if I look at this one, it's very not symmetrical. There's only one tail at the end, so here I would just kind of say no, not symmetri symmetrical. Um, words for this one would be things like it is skewed to right, with that idea of it's being pulled, the whisker, the tail of it is being pulled off to the right here. So that's another way to talk about that shape. The shape of this one is skewed to the right, it's not symmetrical. Um, and so that would be the big reason there. If I look at this one, Again, one way to kind of think about that is, can you sort of draw a normal curve? And this one's, you know, not great, but I would say it's pretty good. So yes, you know, relatively symmetrical. Um, mean is centered. And extreme values approach zero. And if we take a look at the last one here, you notice we do have the peak. It is roughly bell-shaped. Looks like there's a bit of an outlier out here. But if I was going to draw a curve that would sort of approximate a normal distribution in here, it fits that pretty good. The peak is slightly off-center, but the tails do tail off here, even though there's some missing points between those. That's a very small number out there, so that's okay. That fits the normal idea. So I'd say yes on this one, too. It is relatively symmetrical, or bell-shaped. Um, the peak is slightly, I guess I should say the peak, is slightly Um, to the left of center. Um, that's okay. And here the extreme values approach zero. And what else could we say here? The mean, which is this I guess might say here, um, the mean is slightly off-center as well. That's basically the same thing as the peak there, so slightly off-center. So on these graphs, it doesn't have to be a perfect, absolutely perfect bell curve, but you might notice that sometimes it um, fits pretty good. Like in this case, again, the peak is slightly off, but most of the values are between those there. So again, that might be another one you could add on here. Most values are near the mean, and by most you mean um, two standard deviations of the values are within the mean. Um, what else do we have? So again, most of the values are within two standard deviations of the mean here. Symmetry, roughly. This is the bimodal one again, talking about that shape. Um, other keywords that could come up for you guys are things like skewed to the right or skewed to the left. Again, remember, it's the direction that the whisker is getting pulled or the tail is getting pulled on the graph, so this one's being pulled long towards the right, it's skewed right. If there's absolutely no symmetry, then don't call it normal, and again, it needs only one peak um, before it gets called normal. 
So put it into context and talk about it um, using words like you can, if possible, such as, you know, standard deviations and means and symmetry and shape and skew, um, and that will get you guys quite far in the exam.